this is Joe and welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited tonight because I get to play around again with the FRA 300. Uh, I haven't had a chance really to do anything with it since the last image that I took in the video that I did on uh, the first light on the FRA 300. And tonight's supposed to be clear. I, my plan is, is to actually take an image of Roa Fiki. I've never actually taken this target before because it only rises about 27 degrees above the horizon here. And with my observatory walls being at 20 degrees, it's never really given me enough time on the target to really take a good image. Plus, I've never had the focal length or field of view in this case of the, of the FRA 300. So now that I have it uh, for a little while still, I wanted to take advantage of that and go ahead and take an image of it. So I'm gonna start, I get to start as soon as it gets dark and I have to end about two in the morning. And then I'll have about two more hours left before the sun starts to come up. And my plan is, is to take some hydrogen alpha of the Cygnus loop because between the elephant's trunk nebula and now, I managed to get about two hours worth of data uh, on ox oxygen data on the Cygnus loop uh, in between rainstorms. Uh, OPT was gracious enough to give me a two week extension. So that is why I'm getting to use this one more time before I end up packaging it up and sending it back to them. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited because I've never taken this target before and I really want to, and I get to play with this again. So I'm gonna finish getting set up before it gets dark cause the sun's about to go down and then uh, we'll get started imaging. So I got everything set up. I managed to be able to go to park position just fine. I'm gonna go back to home position now and just to make sure everything's working. Uh, everything looks great. We're gonna go ahead and do a polar alignment as soon as it gets dark enough and the cloud moves out of the way. That's a pretty big cloud, but it did look like it was gonna rain, change its mind and rain, but uh, those clouds have moved off to the south. Uh, I'm waiting for this big cloud to go away and for the rest of the sun or the twilight to go down and then we'll do a polar alignment. Uh, I also wanted to mention that a good friend of mine uh, that I mentioned in my 3D print video, uh, his name's Mario. I'll put a link to uh, his channel in the description below or his website where you could buy this stuff, but he just recently sent me another camera sleeve. I don't have it out here with me at the moment, but it's actually got one of these uh, things connected to it, the, the cable management connected to the whole camera sleeve. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, I'll show it in another one of my videos. Um, the one I have is uh, that he sent me is for the 294 and I've got the 2600 on at the moment. But what I really, really thought was awesome, and this thing is nice, is this knob. So if you saw my video on 3D astrophotography, you'll know that I showed, uh, that I printed out this white knob um, where you can get the STL from and I left a description. Well, Mario went, <laughs> went a step further with it and printed me out uh, something. I don't know if he sells these or not. If he does, I would go get one. I, the, I would order one from him if he sells them. Uh, I'll be honest, I haven't went to his webpage since he sent me this stuff, but um, this thing is amazing. Uh, I took the old one off and I put this one on. Uh, the print quality is just incredible. I wish my prints came out like this. So if you're, if you're sick of that wrench with the spring on it in the back of here, this thing is just awesome so far. Uh, we'll test it out tonight when we do our polar alignment. So I'm just gonna go through all of my stuff here while I'm waiting for it to get completely dark. I'm gonna make sure that I have uh, everything in Nina set up, uh, the right profiles and the right mounts because the last time I actually used this profile, I was using the CEM120. So we'll get all that squared away as well. Interesting thing is, is that I do not have to open up my roof, <laughs> which I'm very used to doing. Uh, is either opening it up or setting that up in the Nina sequencer to open it. So real quick, uh, while I'm waiting for it to get completely dark, I am going to set up our target. I believe it's going to be, the official uh, name is uh, LBN 1109, is where I wanna start from. And according to Nina, it actually gets to 28 degrees up uh, above the horizon instead of 27, which I mentioned earlier. 
Um, I also think that my telescope, uh, my camera is set up at about a 90 degree angle at the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up in Nina, which is exactly what I want. And then I'm gonna move this down to this box to have out right here. I'd, I'd like to get the, I'd like to get M4 in there as well, if possible and as much dust and everything as I can from, from all the different targets in, in Rofiki complex here. So I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add target to sequence and I'm just gonna do a simple sequencer tonight. And that gives me five hours and 18 minutes. And I don't think I'm gonna have five hours on this target. Uh, I'm gonna start at about 9.30, a quarter to 10. And I think it's gonna go back behind the mountains. Um, I'm guessing sometime between 1.30 and 2.30. So I'm probably not gonna get all 40 luminance subs, but that should be okay. As long, you know, it'd be nice if I can get 30 or even 24 of them, that'd be all right. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all I could do. This is my only clear night um, and for the next week or even two weeks. So I have to, you know, work with what I have and that's what I got at the moment. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully this will come out. Yeah, right after this is done, I wanna move over to the um, Cygnus loop and just grab some hydrogen on that and that's gonna not, that's gonna be too many. So I'm gonna drop this down to about 12, which is much more realistic. And it looks like seven hours. I don't even know if I'm gonna get that, but any kind of hydrogen will work. And then I'll put that image together as well. Um, you know, I'd like to get at least six subs. Um, that's an hour's worth. I should be able to at least get an hour, um, maybe an hour and a half before the sun comes up. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it like that. In the meantime, I think I'm gonna park this scope so the uh, lens doesn't collect any dust on it while I'm, while I'm waiting. So let's go ahead and park that and I will be back uh, when it's time to pull our line. I'm gonna go ahead and get this scope over to the home position. And if you didn't see my last video that I did on the FRA 300, I just wanted to point out a few things. I still think the scope looks really amazing with the, in the configuration that it comes in uh, with its dovetail bar and uh, the handle being uh, opposite of what you would expect them to be. And it just, it reminds me of something that you'd see out of Star Wars. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, anyway, it's a 300 millimeter focal length scope at F5, which makes it a really nice astrograph. It's a quintuplet, so everything's built in. You don't need a reducer or a flattener or anything like that. You don't have to worry about your back focus. So I just took my, this camera off of my Z81 and slapped it right on here. And I'm getting a nice flat field across the entire image. There's no oblong stars or anything like that that I'm seeing in any of the, the sub exposures that I'm taking. Uh, I did fit on the electronic autofocuser, um, which was really easy to do. It took me about five minutes to get that done. Um, really, you just uh, pop off the, the knob, the, the focuser knob, and then you place this on there and you know, you tighten a few set screws and you're good to go. Another feature I really love, I mentioned in my last video too, is that it's got this rotator on it and uh, all you have to do is just loosen this up and you can move this whole assembly any way you want. So right now I've got it set up, I hope. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got it set up to take the image that I want of Rofiki tonight. Um, I've got this William Optics guide scope on here and uh, ASI 120 mini that I'm using for guiding. And uh, of course I'm, I'm using the ZWO uh, 2600 MM Pro and some Antlia 36 millimeter filters 
in the ZWO filter wheel. So it's finally dark enough that we could probably get started polar aligning. And I'm gonna use Nina tonight to polar line with. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get started here. Just gonna take the default settings and let it do its thing. There's still a little sky glow from twilight, but I figured if I get polar line now, um, I could spend a little bit extra time on my target. I'm not sure how good it's going to be because I already see some clouds out to where the target's going to be. They're little wispy clouds where that rainstorm that I thought was going to come over this way went to the south. Uh, the clouds are still kind of over in that direction. I'm going to go ahead and slew over to the target and see if we can't do a plate solve. Make sure our framing's right. I'm gonna disconnect the full master real quick. So I wasn't sure, but it is nice to see that um, M4 is a pretty good indicator of where exactly I wanted this to be. So if we go back to the framing, we can see that uh, M4 was going to be right here, which means that in this image here, it looks about right. It'd be good. I'm just going to give it a shot. Um, I'm going to turn off the center on target and the slew to target because we've already done that. And we've, I'm still going to make sure that it's on for, um, for the Cygnus loop, uh, because most likely I will be sleeping about that time. Okay, I'm into my imaging run. Uh, it's about 10.30 was my last image, and my HFR is sitting right around 3. I've got my guiding down to about 0.46. My RA is still... A little bit higher than my deck and so I'm just a little bit nervous about getting some oblong stars because of that um, but overall I think it's looking good I'm liking what I'm seeing on the screen the image looks amazing and this is just green so I can hardly wait to see what luminance and blue and red look like so I'm just about halfway done already with the green subs I'm Getting an HFR right around 3, which seems pretty good uh, for the scope. Uh, um, when I was using the scope uh, as a reference with the CM120 on some other targets a little bit higher up into the sky, uh, I was getting around 2.33. So the 3.0 isn't bad. I'm shooting right now at around 10 degrees, so I'm, I am shooting through a lot of atmosphere. So the other night went great. Uh, I had a lot of fun uh, using the FRA 300 again. I enjoyed uh, the, the whole imaging session, really. And uh, unfortunately, it's getting ready to rain again tonight. Uh, it's becoming the theme now in my videos where I end the video with it raining on me. And uh, it is actually raining on me, so I got to button this up. But I really did enjoy... Uh, using the scope. I, I wanted to thank OPT so much for letting me uh, use that scope for a while and review it. I had a lot of fun. Um, I didn't really, I don't really have very many negative things to say about it. Uh, I wish it came with a carrying case. Um, but other than that, it, 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 I like it. It performed well. I, I like the, uh, I like the field of view I'm getting. Uh, I am having to drizzle my data well, when using it with the 2600, although I could use it with the 294 in bin one mode and, and not have to drizzle data, but I do like that 16 bits that the 2600 gives me on it. 
And uh, so I hope you enjoy these images. Uh, I've got one of the entire Cygnus loop and I've got another one of Roofiki. Uh, the first one ever of both, really. I mean, I've, I've taken objects in the Cygnus loop many, many times, uh, but I've never actually taken the entire Cygnus loop at one time. So I'm, I was excited to do that and also very pumped to get Roofiki because I've never done that before. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the images and we'll see you in the next video.